Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Easton and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And um, yeah, I've just had a message come through from YouTube, um, which is a birthday message for the channel. Um, it's been going since 28th of the 10th, 2015. Um, so yeah, we've had eight years of building this model railway and virtually every inch has been filmed um, even if it's just in running sessions and uh, yeah so I've been up here for about uh, uh, half an hour now and um, I've been adding some little details um, to this little area here as you can see I've added uh, another tree and I've also added some apple trees there for the for the farmers um, so as you can see there, there's a, a gateway here which comes down into the orchard um, the apple trees are just HO scale um, I mean apple trees come in various sizes but I would say that these were the small um, well maintained apple trees well, they're not very tall um, but yeah so we've added some more extra details to the Jarrah Road area and uh, I've added some bushes there next to the signal box and I've also added a little detail to the plate layers hut um, I don't know if you can spot it. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the barrel there, alongside with a downpipe going into the barrel. So that's another little, little uh, detail. So I would say now that the station area, apart from a few more figures, is complete at Jarra Road. Um, the farm um, is not quite finished, uh, it needs a few other little details. I've got some chickens and geese there which I've just got to scatter around the farmyard. And uh, yeah, so we're slowly and surely finishing this long project of Jarrah Road. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, um, eight years. <laughs> it uh, it hardly seems like it. It's, you know, when you when you spend as much time as I have up in the loft. Um, obviously, I don't spend as much time as I used to. But um, yeah, um, two years of that, or almost two years of that. Was um, building the station over there, the South Shield station. So we're just going to have a 180 view of the layout. Um, there's a lot of barren um, places on the layout. At least the places that you guys don't get to see. Because I like to show the areas in the Russian running sessions of what has been done on the layout. And um, virtually every inch of this has been filmed during the making and through running sessions. There you are. And there's still more to come, this whole area around here. It's not even been touched yet, apart from a few bridges, so all that's got to be ballasted and completed. So there you are, there's the 180 view, which I know some of you have always wanted to see. What I do like about uh, the fact of building this model railway and putting it on YouTube is the amount of people that I have met 
through YouTube and even through the comments um, which really does keep me going through this um, build if you like so um, yeah so it's all down to you guys and thank you very much for all your support and uh, long may it continue Right, this week's video is about giving this camera another chance. Um, had some great comments and suggestions um, in the first episode of I'm using this camera, more or less the testing episode, and um, the quality wasn't there. So I, I want to give this camera another chance. So what I've done is I've bought a new SD card. It's a 32 gigabyte one um, so it's, it says it has speed up to 100% MBS 667X that's just gone over my head that is but anyway I'm going to give that a try and just to see if it improves the quality of the videos um, coming from this intelligence pocket camera right so let's give it a try right so I fitted the new SD card into the camera so we shall now switch the camera on and um, see how good the quality is with the new SD card
just looked at the, the new footage taken um, with the new SD card and um, yes it's it's a lot better um, the quality and the clarity is still not there what the camera provides but um, it was worth a try and I am a one that likes to try new things so yeah the SD card is a big improvement but you get what you pay for when you're buying cameras I guess and uh, yeah, so it'll do for now until a newer camera comes along. At least now I'm getting the hang of using such cameras. Right, so I think that's all from me this week. And um, hopefully next time we shall continue building the signals that we need for the South Shield Station. But until then, take care everybody. And... Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.